Hello, this is Catalan News in 100 seconds. Taxi drivers keep up the pressure. On strike since Friday last week, thousands took to the streets of Barcelona and blocked major roads. The strikers are demanding tougher regulation of so-called BTC ride-sharing firms. Some drivers vandalize several Cabify and Uber vehicles and clash with police. The Catalan government is set to meet in the evening amid criticism for its handling of the situation. Existe un grupo de taxistas violentos que utilizan tácticas mafiosas para conseguir objetivos económicos. Demà hi haurà una, una reunió, penso que serà una reunió molt, molt, molt important. Nosaltres anem amb la voluntat, com anem sempre, amb totes les vagues que hem tingut, de resoldre. Que no es deixi la taula de diàleg fins a trobar una solució que entre avui i demà ha de ser perfectament possible. The Catalan branch of Penn International has denounced the pre-trial imprisonment of two pro-independence activists. The group, representing writers from all around the world, is very vocal in condemning the suppression of freedom of speech. Instamos a las autoridades españolas a retirar los cargos contra Sánchez y Cuchart y a liberarlos inmediatamente. The Catalan president met today with his predecessor, who is exiled in Belgium. Puigdemont insists that he could be president if pro-independence parties really won it. Cervera will be Catalonia's culture capital in 2019, with 200 events planned involving hundreds of artists. This western town hosted the first shows this past weekend. <laughs>